The Sports Scouting Report with Lee Brickeen. Brought to you by Medines Collision Center in Baton Rouge. Take control, choose Medines. Gross Savant Lodge, south of Lake Charles, the true sportsman's paradise. Treads and Care Company in Central, the tires you need, the service you want. Harvey Auto in Shreveport, Bossier City, the name you have trusted for years. And Gage in Baton Rouge, get better connected with Gage. Here's your host, Lieber King. Hi everyone, I'm Lee Burkeen, host of the Sports Scout Report podcast. We've got a great show today. Newman High School, the head coach Nelson Stewart. I've known Nelson for a few years, going back to 99, 2000, uh, which is kind of dating uh, how long we've been around. But it started a magazine in 97, Louisiana Football Magazine. But Nelson and me are going to talk about Newman. We're going to talk about Arch Manning. We're going to talk about Randall as tight end that's going to Texas. The program currently, and some of the famous alumni to come out of Newman. The Greenies, they've had some great, great people come out of the school and also on the business side and athletically. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. What does that bug man do? Not only do we do pest control, we do odor control, bat removal, moisture control, rodents, and of course, bed bug control. Give the bug man a call. We get them before they get you. Hi everyone, Lee Burkeen. Uh, appreciate you joining us. And also I want to mention before we get started with Coach Nelson Stewart and introduce Coach, uh, you can go subscribe on YouTube. And if you're over 40 and you click the button, nothing bad's gonna happen, it's free. Uh, support us. That's how we grow. Or go wherever you get your podcast. We're on Podbean. Or you can go to Twitter and check us out. You can go to Facebook where we've got over 13,000 followers on Facebook. Um, and we're not on any other ones right now, but maybe we might get an Instagram at some point, even though I don't do that personally. But uh, again, go to Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. And be sure to subscribe. Tell your friends and even share it and like it. That's what people are doing today. I've had to adjust to that. Uh, I want to introduce Coach Nelson Stewart. Before we talk to him, I want to brag about how he's a graduate of Newman High School in 95. He played at Newman, was, an, was a lineman, believe it or not. He's slender down. Played for legendary Tony Reginelli. Uh, played O-line at Tulane University. The, the color stayed the same, green. Uh, played for Tommy Bowden. Remember Tommy Bowden, who was at Clemson at one time, had a great career. Sean King, remember all those great players that came out of Tulane? Well, our coach, Nelson Stewart, was a part of that and uh, became the head coach in 2006, came back to the school in 2000 as an assistant coach and works the Manning Passing Academy for like a trillion years with uh, quarterbacks and tight ends. Nelson, thanks for joining us, man. No, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I really do appreciate Coming it. all the way from New Orleans. And- yeah. A busy day. I mean, you, you work at the school as a teacher. You do a lot of different roles besides coaching. Yeah, no, I think that's, um, well, one, I appreciate it. I got out of carpool duty, like I said, with my, my twins this morning. So usually I'm driving them to St. George's now. But, uh, no, it's great yeah. to see. And I've been, uh, I think it's the biggest thing at Newman is it's a K-12 school. So I get to do lower school PE. A lot of the guys we're going to talk about, I've known them since they were four or five years old. And still get to be an upper school advisor and, you know, just try and help out every way I can and just kind of, you know, be a part of what I think is a really good institution and community. A little tidbit about the school, 11 acres. It's a pretty good amount of real estate. Yeah, no, I, acres. yeah, we've really, um, we've really grown in our headmaster, Dale Smith. Uh, you know, it's unbelievable. Every time I think that, you know, we're done, there's a new science building. We built yeah. a new field house and um, it's over 100 years old. There's a lot of tradition and um, it, it really, really, I think everything blends uh, well together. Nelson, I didn't know this, but and I, I cheated everyone. I did go to Wikipedia on this. 1903. I didn't know that. Yeah. Newman was established in 1903. Yeah, no, it's um I mean, I, you know, it's got a pretty amazing history. Uh, you know, so far back when you look at the early pictures, it's you know, there were streets that we had to, you know, build buildings on and whatnot. But yeah, uh, over a hundred years old and um, I'd like to think we're as strong as we've ever been and 
Um, yeah, I think that's the thing. You know, every time there's an alumni weekend, it's unbelievable. You know how many. Um, you know, different people of all walks of life have come through our campus and hallways. So, yeah, we really do embrace our, our history and tradition. And look, me and Nelson have mentioned this. I mean, you hear of Arch Manning and Peyton and Eli Manning and Cooper Manning and Randy Livingston that played there was the player of the year in basketball. But this is a school that's strong on academics. And it's not like Nelson's had this 290 pound O line every year. It'd be awesome. You know, yeah. be awesome. Uh, <laughs> You know, you don't get an Odell Beckham, but like once every 30 years anywhere. But this is a school that's not, uh, you know, full of D1 players, but just a bunch of great kids that you've coached. Yeah, I think that, you know, one of our uh, one of our greatest alumni, Daryl uh, Daryl Berger, um, who's uh, really just, you know, been you know wonderful, obviously, in the uh, business industry. New Orleans always says there's a reason in student, there's a reason in student athlete that student comes first. And um, Coach Raj always told me that, um, yeah. you know, we, uh, we we do have a you know really tough academic standard. I think that, you know, uh, we adhere to that. I think that, you know, a lot of the things that you see at some schools, athletic block, you know, and some of the things we don't have those things. Yeah. And so we have to, you know, be mindful of that, mindful of kids time and um, just know what's important. I think that, you know, we, we have a, you know, strong standard, uh, especially yeah. in football and all our athletics. But, um, yeah, it's very important. And if you go to Newman School, um, you know, the classroom is going to come first. And, you know, we've kind of always adhered to that. We're going to mention a lot of famous authors and actors. I didn't even know came out of Newman, but it's like a, a who's who of authors and Hollywood and, you know, people who write books and magazines. It's impressive. I will mention that. And obviously some of the great, uh, you know, athletic players that have come out. Soccer, too. I don't even have the soccer. But there's a whole page for soccer mm -hmm. famous uh, players from the school. But, Coach, talk about when you played in 95. Um, we're going back to Peyton Manning days. Mm -hmm. um, what was that like in the beginning when – Newman was really not known for football yep. as much. Yeah, you know, no, well, it, you know, you were in the, well, I mean, was, but like, yeah, no, the well, of the great yeah, I, I, you know, I think that, you know, my football life, Your as coach. they say, I was actually a, a, a water boy when I was uh, young in the eighties wow. going up with coach Raj and, you know, back then um, in the seventies, we were very strong uh, football wise. And, um, you know, we've been the semis and quarters a number of times and um, in the eighties had a battle in districts with Curtis and whatnot. But, you know, I believe in, you know, that 91 period, uh, Cooper Manning was a senior, Peyton was a sophomore. That was, I was, you know, privileged to be a freshman on that team that you know, came within a breath of the Superdome. Um, you know, when young Peyton Manning was a sophomore, you know, we were one drive short losing to Haynes yeah, uh, against uh, Coach Franklin in a legendary oh, nice. school. And that really kind of put us on a, a new trajectory, um, you know, going to the quarterfinals, you know, against Pickering and playing Northeast when Doug Williams was a coach. I was a junior. And um, Frank Gendusa took over for Coach Raj. And um, really throughout the 90s and Eli Manning and whatnot, it was able to really – it was interesting at the Ascension of Newman football. Yeah. And, you know, people knew a lot more about our program. I think that I give Coach Red so much credit because, you know, he hung in there. He really grew our program. He stuck with his values. And, you know, we were a veer team. And when Peyton came in, all of a sudden they traveled to Florida State, ran a lot more of your spread pro stuff. And Coach Indusa was able to, you know, expand upon that with Eli. Um, as we went through, we had a lot of wide receivers, and as you alluded to, you know, while Peyton and Eli went on, to, you know, great careers. Cooper, obviously, with yeah, Ole Miss. Yeah. Um, most of our players, you know, didn't they, while they may have been all state, whatnot, went, yeah. you know, walked on some places, whatnot, yeah. didn't have a lot of those five stars. So uh, it was great. It was surreal. It really, you know, it was it was almost an awakening on our program, and um, just uh, I give so much credit to Coach Reginelli. Uh, I think he always stayed grounded. He you know, reminded us what was important. He, he coached every team the same, the 91 team, just like a 80-45 team. And I think that, you know, my, my first year, my year as a captain as a senior was coaching Deuce's first year as a head coach and had a great season, you know, won nine games, you know, lost in overtime to U-High and Oakie Woods, my old oh, teammate. Uh, okay. Hey, okay, great player and uh, able to play at Tulane. And uh, really, I think that that's where I fell in love with Newman football. So uh, it was a great time in my life. And I'm sure, you know, really you know, inspired me to, you know, help kids. That's why I got into coaching. I think the trophies and wins are great, but you really want to make a difference. And uh, I think the best coach there's ever been at Newman Schools, without question, Tony Reginelli.
that's what I meant. You know, prior to Reginelli, people don't remember as much. Yeah. You know, but yeah, they were strong in the 70s. And by the way, another old name coach, Mike Stade from UHI. Yeah. Teammate, Tulane, uh, DB. Wasn't highly recruited. Was four year starter, mm -hmm. all conference. Oakey Woods, man, 5'11, 215, 220. Was a great running back at UHI. And then came along a few other great ones at UHI since then. Yeah. And we'll talk about some of their players later. But hey, we're going to be back with Coach Stewart. We're going to talk about his current team. We're going to talk about some of the famous alumni and talk about, we've got highlights on three of his kids coming up. One is an Eli. It's not Eli Manning. It's Eli Friend. We'll be right back. Grosavon Lodge, the true sportsman's paradise. Grosavon Lodge has fresh and saltwater fishing, alligator hunting, waterfowl hunting, and echo tours located south of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Give them a call at 337 598 2357. That number to call again is 337 598 2357 and have the time of your life. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. You're watching the Sports Scouting Report. I'm your host, Lee Burkane. Our guest is Nelson Stewart, the head football coach at Newman, the Greenies in New Orleans, Louisiana. Let me throw out some famous alumni. Ryder. Editor, former Time Magazine editor, Walter Ikeson. Wow. Corey Johnson, actor. He was in United 93. And The Mummy. I love The Mummy. It's a great movie. Michael Lewis, author, Moneyball, The Blind Side. We'll talk about that some more, too. John Lavelle, Olympic sailor. Chris Rice, author. Uh, Reeland, pop singer, TV series The Glee. I don't watch it, but that's that's Mark Simmons, College Football Hall of Fame, that's an old player. That's Tulane right. University mm -hmm. with the Newman. Uh, Sean Tui, if you remember, he was the father of adopted um, blindside movie, Michael Orr. Uh, Sean Tui was a uh, Newman grad. Uh, there's so many famous authors and actors. And there's another, Bruce Spicer, uh, author of Beatles. The Beatles books, the group, the Beatles. Mo Williams, book author. Mary Louise Wilson, actor, actress. Ed Miller, the author for Poker. Yeah, no. You know Ed, yeah, you? yeah, yeah. I remember him well. I can't, you yeah. know, for uh, <laughs> helped us out as a uh, you know camera guy one night. Was a, yeah, really. Uh, you were yeah, I was a player, and uh, yeah, it's funny as you go through the list. I. I I, I kind of think my old teammate Peyton Manning might be the best actor now along those things as he's crossed that. Dominating the commercial Yes, world. he's dominated everything that he does. But uh, Oh, i got to ask yeah. you this, what's on our mind sure. before I get ADD. So I'm watching NFL games this past year. What do you think of the Eli and Peyton game review during the game while you're watching the game? That's different now. Right? Yeah, it's different. Um, my, my staff, when we have great film, they like to put it on. Uh, and, and very good. I, you know, I've had so many conversations with the, with Peyton. Every time I hear him, is, you know, I hear what Nelson is what you got to do, and he's getting so it's, in it. But it's, uh, yeah, it's great. I think that uh, he and Eli just play off each other so well. And um, you know, the biggest thing to me is is their football IQ. They just they see things so naturally. I think yeah. that um, I always remember it reminds me when uh, Arch was a freshman. Peyton came to one game. I met him to watch Hyde in JV, and he sat on the fifty, and we looked out. And he just, in recall, went through the whole game, about 30, you know, different pass plays and his recall from the coverages to what we did. And Nils, you might want to run a post here and a dig here. I'm like, I don't know how he sees it. But, he, you know, uh, it's great. I think they love the game. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think everybody's really enjoyed it. And uh, I think you can't have one without the other. I think Eli sometimes, though, you know, steals the, yeah. the show a little bit, okay. just like at Manning Camp. But they're Bro brothers, they're, though. They're brothers. Yes, they're back and forth all the time. Cooper, who didn't get to finish his career at Ole Miss, would have been a heck of a receiver if it wasn't for the, uh, having to retire early with um, a health issue there. But he, Cooper yeah. was a heck of a receiver. No, he really was. You know, when going back, he had over 1,200 yards receiving. You know, I've heard Peyton joke he threw all his passes rather, but he uh, was 6'3". Uh, he was over 200 pounds. He also was a starting guard on the state championship basketball team. Um, yeah, he had a few offers, UVA, Texas, and Ole Miss. And when we went to Ole Miss, he, he might even been a tight end. But, Man. you know, obviously he had a, you know, 
uh, issue early, and uh, you know, obviously injuries cut it short. But he, uh, Archie, sometimes he might have been the best athlete. So he, uh, yeah, got cut short. Um, but yeah, phenomenal player. And like I said on that, that you know, '91 team, which I think yeah. was the best ever. He was, he was arguably, I think, the you know, the the, the top threat that we had. In the next segment, um, we're going to talk about how Arch is doing at Texas, and Randall tight end from Newman, and some of his other players, some of uh, Coach's other players. And then in our final segment, we'll talk about the team a lot. Right now, I want to, even though this is a show that's taped and me and Coach can't see it, we're going to put it in. Want to roll some highlights of Eli Friend, your new mm -hmm. quarterback? Uh, we'll go ahead and roll some film. We'll talk over the film. There's only two or three plays, but coach, what mm -hmm. do you think of your new quarterback, Eli Friend? Not Manning, but Eli yeah, Friend. no, he. Uh, well, it, it, it as I get older, uh, I you know, his classmates with his mom. I know that I'm I'm getting old yeah. as I go through, but I've <laughs> you know had him since he was pre-K. Uh, I remember you know even way back when he was holding a football and I texted his mom. I said, I think this one's different, and um, he's got a great arm. Um, he's more of a throwback. Uh, his release is good. He can throw it good downfield. But as you see on the highlights, he was a running back for us last year. He's a you know 500 pound deadlifter. Runs a you know four five four six forty. Um, very very physical. Very yeah. strong. He almost runs like Jay Tyler used to. Is okay. a phenomenal player for us. And um, you know he can you know do the progression stuff, RPO, quick game. But you know I think as a runner, he really is able to. Uh, you know, take our, you know, his game to the next level. Believe it or not, he's a really good lacrosse player. He sent me okay. a few clips the other day running some guys over. Okay. I, 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 I'd I appreciate it. Yeah, he, he does. I tell you, I got to remind Stay him sometimes. Healthy. Yes, Stay yes. Healthy. But, uh, no, he's a great player. Um, he works like a lineman. He works very hard. The kids love him. He's a leader. And, really, I don't think there's much he, he can't do. So, we're very fortunate that, you know, you don't often lose the number one quarterback in the country and get excited about the next one. But he's a great player. Eli Friend reminds me in build wise of your former quarterback Wes Laquette. Ah, uh, there you go. Old yeah. name, huh? Yeah, no, that Very actually uh, is that a good comparison? Is I think so. Build? You know, as Arch's favorite player, he's always trying to get footage of him. Oh, okay. They don't know if this YouTube stuff yeah, he always talked about. Yes. Uh, you know, Wes, uh, as you remember, gosh, we you remember years ago, uh, could just sling yeah, it. He tough. yeah, he yeah, Leslie said he could throw it down to a real tough, real physical. And I was back when we had to play St. Charles and Curtis and St. James in that district. And no, I think that's a that's a you know real good comparison because you know he is a dual threat kid. And I think in today's yeah. you know game, especially a lot of schools we play, you, you can't just sit back there. You got to run too. So no, I think so. Yeah. Eli's got that six one height, long one ninety ish, strong kid. And we're gonna go ahead and roll some film of. You have another tight end, Will, and I don't want to butcher his last name. Warzel. Warzel. Yes. Who's a six four kid. Maybe a little taller yeah. now. Yeah, um, no. Big kid. Yeah, he's real big. You know, Will's 6'6". Six, six, he's 250. Um, comes from a great pedigree. Uh, both his parents were Division One athletes. They played at Purdue. Uh, his mom, Colleen, um, is our head volleyball coach. Okay. Has won five state championships okay. or whatnot. She's phenomenal. And uh, her, his father, Jason, was a starting linebacker at Purdue. Um, very played with Breeze and those guys in the Rose wow. Bowl. Wow. Um, so since he's been little, we, we've kind of thought he might be – uh, there, he doesn't even shave yet. I think that's important. He's a size 16 shoe. Um, he's very athletic. Catches everything you throw at him. He's much faster. He works, uh, you know, kind of year round on it. You know, speed and agility. And you know, he's definitely a, you know four seven four eight forty guy. He's got a lot of great offers yeah. now. Tech, UL Monroe, Southern Miss just offered. Um, and while he's a violent blocker uh, and and really I think inserts well, he's a great you know he in terms of his receiving skills. I don't think I've ever seen him drop a ball. So he's a great tight end. Senior year could be the year. I think so. Point. No, I think he's got a lot in front of him, and uh, he's going to be a steal for somebody. But the best is in front of him for sure. We got a highlight tape before we take a break. We want to show of your best lineman, Britt Bornelaw. Yeah. Who bows at LSU? His older brother, who's six six two ninety five. Britt. Is going to probably be bigger, Coach, huh? He's a 225 kid. Still got a couple of years left. Yeah. But here's a bench press, and you and we're going to talk about it, but it's just 350 pounds. 350 pounds in high school. Watch this bench press by Brett Bornelong, whose brother's Bo Bornelong is at LSU. Coach, you hold the bench press record. You told me at 365. Yeah, I, I should expect him to break that. So. Yeah, there's uh, years ago, Alex Paul and Philip Stevens were close. So and they're diving. Little, 
little bigger. Yeah, I was a little bigger, but yeah, no, I think he'll shatter it. He's only 16, um, the back, and he knows it. He talks about it, but you know, he's not just uh, a bench press guy. He's really, you know, he's good in cleans, good in deadlift, good in squat. He's good mobility. He bends his hips well, and that's what you want to see. Tough. He's really tough and uh, very athletic. Uh, yeah. You know, he jumps all over uh, the place, and uh, you know, he's re he can do cartwheels and stuff. But um, he you know, kind of your your textbook left tackle, play on both sides, and very physical. He's yeah. a mauler. I think you know one thing about Ben is his boys are, are throwbacks. You know, yeah. they yeah. Uh, they don't they're not you know like you know a lot of guys you see now, but they take pride in their blocking, put guys on the ground. You know, they like you know pancakes. Likes to be coached hard. It reminds me of Wisconsin or Lyman. Big yes, six, five, yes, six, six, yes. Six, seven guys. Yeah, no, three and then lean. He, yeah, lean he's looking. he's lean and and uh, you know again he carries it well. He's got you know he's not puffy. He's got big arms, yeah. big legs. You know uh, his wife Miss Jemmy. I, I don't envy her trying to feed those boys all the time. <laughs> but um, no, they, they're they're re he's built really well. Uh, you know again really muscular, but again the athletic piece yeah. and. Um, you know, while Bo will be is more of a center guard, I think he can play both sides. So, yeah, he's phenomenal. And we'll play the whole game for Coach because Coach needs his physicality on defense. Yes. But an O-lineman in college probably. Yeah, no, I think so. And, um, you know, I've talked to Coach Sloan at LSU. He might be a center guard. But, no, I think he's an O-lineman just, again, because of his length. Um, he's a great pass protector. Um, you know, again, he kicks well. He's got good balance. He, he'd be a great wrestler. So, no, I think he'll be a lot. You know what's crazy, too, Coach? And I know you've thought about this, but he's committed to LSU. Him and his brother have a chance to maybe start three years together at LSU on the same offensive line. Uh, no, he knows that. that. Would be yeah, very, yeah. They could be next to each other, guard tackle or both guards. The, yeah. They, so, or center. They, they know. Yes. No, they can. And um, I've seen them. They work together. Sometimes the lights would be on late. And they'd be, you know, just working against yeah, each other. Yeah. So, no, I think, uh, you know, that's his goal. He talks about that. And um, I, I, I like their chances. You know, God willing, they stay healthy and they get there. That'd be pretty, pretty amazing. I've seen videos from Ben, their dad, who played for the Chargers, all SEC at LSU. These guys out in the yard enjoying it at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon when it wasn't football season. Uh, yeah. Getting after it. No, uh, yeah, that's all they do. Yeah. We're going to take a break. We'll come back. we got one more segment with our football coach, Nelson Stewart from Newman High School. We're going to talk about the team coming back. You met three of the players. We're going to talk about the other players uh, that are really key guys for the Tulane. Tulane, I want to say Tulane is green, the same color. Mm -hmm. Newman, the greenies. We'll be right back. What does that bug man do? Not only do we do pest control, we do odor control, bat removal, moisture control, rodents, and of course, bed bug control. Give the bug man a call. We get them before they get you. Grosavon Lodge, the true sportsman's paradise. Grosavon Lodge has fresh and saltwater fishing, alligator hunting, waterfowl hunting, and echo tours located south of Lake Charles, Louisiana. Give them a call at 337-598-2357. That number to call again is 337-598-2357 and have the time of your life. Welcome back. Libra Keen, the host of the Sports Scouting Report podcast and TV show. And look, be sure to hit subscribe. If you're a, a greeny watching, help us, it's free. Or go to YouTube, uh, go to Twitter, go to Facebook, where we've got about 30,000 uh, subscribers between the two of those. And we're building our YouTube subscription base. And also uh, go to our website, lafootballmagazine.com. We're gonna have articles starting in July of players all around the state. Thank you, Mike Johnson for the Julio Brothers Italian restaurant here on Perkins Road, a mile from Acadian, or uh, skip and hop from LSU's campus. Uh, you can get to LSU in about a minute from the Julio's. They also have brunch on Sunday from 10.30 to two. And if you're in from New Orleans, Metairie Kenner, the West Bank, great, great brunch. Uh, I love this place. Some of the best Italian food in the state. I wanna get back to Coach Stewart, Nelson Stewart, um, before we get into your team, Coach, uh, update about spring. And um, I think the internet world is not one I'm still used to, the daily information, the daily progression. Uh, I'm not a daily guy when it comes to football players. I'm, I'm a yearly guy. I think you're old school too. Mm -hmm. Kids leaving school early, enrolling early. They go through spring practice. They're 17, maybe 18. Everybody sees they're a five-star national player of the year. If they don't start 
day one, then, you know, all the noise mm -hmm. starts, whatever. But my opinion, I think Coach will appreciate this, my true opinion, Arch Manning, if he red shirts this year, he's going to be just like his uncle Eli, uh, who red shirted at Ole Miss, and Tommy Hodson red shirted at LSU, and so did a lot of your famous Alabama quarterbacks. He'll be okay. He'll be fine. I think that, you know, obviously, as you allude to, in today's day and age, you know, especially watching Arch, you know, every single throw, everything has been so scrutinized. Yeah, yeah. And, um, he, you know, I can tell you this, he, he works tirelessly. He's a wonderful young man, you know, obviously with his last name and, you know, his first with Arch. Right. I think a lot of people, you know, say things, but look, he has gone, I believe, to the perfect coach and Coach Sarkeesian, who uh, is all about development. Uh, yeah. He's a freshman. Yeah. He should be a he should be a senior. second semester senior. And he, you know, look, it, you know, when you go out there, all I care about is he continues to grow, grow, go through the process of things. He'll work tirelessly with AJ Mill. We'll be in that building, and he, you know, whenever he, you know he's ready and it's time, he'll go out and he'll be fine. I think yeah. that. Um, you know, I understand scrutiny, and as you said, in the internet age, um, I'm not worried about Arch. Yeah. Arch is going to do wonderful. Um, I think that, you know, he's a full-time All-State quarterback, our career leader in you know, every category, and he did it with an authenticity and a humbleness and character and work ethic. It's hard to find. Yeah. Um, he didn't get caught up in the other stuff. So, you know, he'll be just fine, and um, uh, I'm very passionate about him just because of the kind of person yeah. uh, that he is. So, you no, know, I think he's in the right spot. And as you said, wh whatever the case is, a great quarterback in and, you know, Quinn Ewers, uh, I have no doubt, you know, Arch Manning's have a wonderful uh, college career and he's in the right spot. Look at Nussmeyer at LSU. He'll be a, he'll be a pro guy. Yeah. Red shirted. Yeah. Highly acclaimed out of Texas and Flower Mound Marcus High School, you know, not far from Austin Westlake mm -hmm. where Drew Brees played and yeah. Drew didn't really, you know, come into Purdue and play right. I mean, all the great ones. The only ones I can remember that played right away is John Elway. That's the only one I remember at Stanford. He yeah. had to wait a little bit at Stanford, and he was like the number one prospect in baseball and football his senior year in California. But uh, and then you got a tight end at Texas, Will Randall, who I think is Foster Morrow reincarnated, more talented than even Foster Morrow, who was a Jesuit. You agree? Of that yeah, no, guy? he. You know, it's funny. Uh, our defensive coach is nicknamed him Cheat Code because whichever side of the ball he was in competitive drills won. Uh, you couldn't block him as a D end. He caught everything. Yeah. Uh, he's phenomenal. He was our everything. He went down to injury. I think it really, you know, hurt us this year. But um, he's worked really hard at his rehab. Uh, he's going to play, uh, I think, early, and uh, I think that's a really, really good analysis. And that. He's a throwback. He's a he's a blocker. You can detach and put him on the outside. He throws everything, or excuse me, he catches everything you throw at him. I'm thankful too that he has a little brother that's going to be our running yeah, back. So we'll talk about him yeah, no, M Michelle and John uh, Randall have had have some, have some great boys for us. Swiss Army knife tight end. He can block, catch, and run routes. All three. Some tight ends now are like H backs. They're receivers. They can't block, or they need to bulk up and block. He's already 250, 245. He's already there. Uh, let's talk about some of your players coming mm -hmm. back, Coach. We don't. We got about uh, 30 seconds on each one. Let's sure. talk about Brandon Wilkins, your D tackle, big guy. Yeah, back. Big B's great. He's your probably play center, uh, play defensive tackle for both sides of the ball. Good leverage, 300 pounds. Uh, I think definitely has ability to play at the next level, especially because of his athleticism. Your punter, Journey. Manson. Yeah, Journey Manson, uh, great job. He's also a wide receiver. Uh, he's an all-state soccer goalie, okay. too. He has great hands and helps you have a great soccer program there. So, uh, yeah, great kid and great multi-sport athlete. Tall kid, 2'6'2". Yep. Uh, Robert Kerrigan. There's been some Kerrigans play yeah. at Newman. Everything, linebacker, running back. Yeah, Kerrigan. Bobby. I call him Bobby. Bobby he's his grandfather, okay. Bobby. He's, okay. uh, you know, kind of an old-school throwback Mike linebacker. He'll sneak in uh, yeah. as a fullback for us in 21 personnel. And so, yeah, really, really tough physical kid. And he works hard in the weight room. So I'm at your tight end, Will. We already talked about Will yep. at tight end. Uh, another Manny. Oh, oh Hyde, yeah. Hyde. yeah. Hyde's great. You know, he's a great athlete. Actually, uh, you know, he's played center. Uh, he's played guard for us. I think may even be able to play tackle. Great pass protector, takes pride in the little things, and um, also a great lacrosse player. Brother so, Arch. Yes, he is Arch's little brother, um, but uh, I, I think that uh, he'll, he'll come into his own. He's had a great career Still for growing. Us. Still growing. Still growing. Uh, Eli Friend, we talked about new quarterback, brand new starter, mm -hmm. uh, ready to be a star player. 
uh, a leader that you love, Coach Jack Nestor. Love him. Quarterback of the defense. You know, uh, plays safety for us, directs everything around. Uh, I joke with our defensive coordinator. The only problem I have is when he's out there, we tend not to work. Oh, he understands man. everything. Uh, his uh, dad, JT, uh, teammate of mine from '91, just a great player. Also help us with wide receiver. He's awesome. Uh, DN, a good player for you. William, uh, last name? Dara. Dara. Dara, great. Yeah, again, stand up DN, kind of a hybrid jack type, can, you know, rush the passer, play off the ball, also can help us at tight end. Uh, another one of these lacrosse guys, very athletic, probably our best returning pass rusher, and I think may have a chance to play at the next level a little. Anthony Jones, receiver. Yeah, Anthony's been great. Uh, he can play slot, outside, runs tunnel screens well, option routes, very twitchy, quick, takes pride in his releases, little things, and uh, does a great job. DJ Thomas, DB. Yeah, Darwin, as I said, D, uh, uh, he's actually got uh, offers from all the Ivy Leagues, um, you know, Dartmouth, Harvard, Yale. Definitely play at that level. Uh, West Point just offered, and uh, he'll also be a cornerback wide receiver. Great player. Peter Loop. Peter Loop the third. Yeah, yeah, really uh, high academic young man. He was all district return player. He averaged over 20 yards a catch. He's uh, actually a, a team record for us. He's getting looks from some Ivies, whatnot. He'll definitely play at the next level. Really a home run threat. You know, really good as a returner and shots downfield. Will Randall's little brother, younger brother, a 225 kid. Jace Randall, running back. Yeah, Jake. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jake. Actually, again, he's a 26. He's only going to be a sophomore. Yes, yes, yes. Um, he, you know, really tough. Through, you know, runs between the tackles well, catches the ball in the backfield. You know, really that dual threat guy you see a lot of. And, you know, super tough, running track down the 400, and a great player for us. Coach, another great spring starting in May for Newman. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And, uh, and there you, if parents are watching and their kid doesn't play football and they're 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, and they go to the school, any thoughts on when it's when it all to come see you? Will yeah. you come out for football? Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, we're going to start Monday the 8th. We're going to go, uh, you know, just after school Monday through Friday, 4 to 6. We're excited to get rolling. And then uh, second Friday, you're going to see my good friend Dominic Saltramaggio and Franklin oh, Demons are going to come and have a great scrimmage. Hopefully come out healthy. And uh, just, again, to get some good eval. It feels, you know, time's right for football. And got a lot of good young kids coming up. Hendricks Hill, Eric Hill, former linebacker. Oh, Hell, yeah. Shoe, his son. is going to be running back. Great group of eighth graders that are coming up. So a lot to be excited about. And uh, just blessed to be able to keep doing it at Newman School. Well, i tell you what, if he gets to any size like Eric, Eric was the baddest dude on the planet at LSU. Yeah, I, I six two two forty from Galveston Ball High School in Texas. I, I told him Bro. he's one of the only parents. If if he has a problem uh, and he wants to meet, I will be a little nervous. We'll <laughs> make sure his mom's in the room. He still looks like he can play. But yeah, Hendrix has, has been great for us. Ben Bornelaw, if you watch the show, he knows this. The baddest two guys in the locker room at LSU back in the eighties was the late Eric Andelsek, who played for the Detroit Lions, and Eric Hill. No doubt. Like those are the two guys you didn't mess with at LSU. Yeah, no, Eric, Eric Andelsek's a guard. I remember his highlight from Monday Night Football, unbelievable back yeah. in the day. Mike Linebacker at 245, 250 in the NFL, back when they were 210 pounds back in the uh, 90s, mm -hmm. early 90s. Yeah, no doubt. Nelson, oh, thank pleasure. you, man. Thank you. Appreciate, I appreciate you, man. you. Yes, sir. Newman Greeny, support them. Um, watch their players all over the country playing. A lot of them play Ivy League, a lot of former Greenies play Ivy League football, and we're just looking forward to covering Newman again this year for 29 years uh, with our magazine. And again, go to YouTube, subscribe, thank Mike Johnson with the Julio Brothers, thank the Marriott Hotel and uh, Bugman uh, and Tommy Harvey Toyota in Shreveport, believe it or not, Shreveport, Bossier City. We appreciate their support. We'll see everybody on Friday. Thanks for listening to the Sports Scouting Report podcast with Lee Brickeen.